Welcome to Coaches Week. I'm CJ Sellner here with head men's soccer coach Michael Rongo. Coach, season has finally come to a close. Your first year here. Just kind of summarize the year and kind of your final thoughts on the 2017 season. Uh, it's been a great first experience with these guys and with the university. I couldn't be luckier to have the, had the opportunity to, to start my head coaching career here with the, the men's program. The guys have come so far. Uh, they've learned so much and things have changed quite a bit with them from the culture in, in the locker room to the way they treat each other both on and off the field and their work ethic and just the soccer ideas we're trying to put forth in the field. So I'm really happy with how far we've come and I can't wait to see where we're going to go. And the, you look at the whole course here, I mean you talk about competitive matches up and down the whole schedule. I mean and it gets all highlighted by that big win over Dominican on the road. Sure yeah so I mean, all the scores don't necessarily reflect how we are in most of these matches and we fought and it just you know, a mistake here, a mistake there, and you give up that, that goal that really costs you and haunts you at the end of the day. But we were in just about every single match we played this year. And it was great to see the guys fighting for the entire match. And, you know, even the one overtime match, we continued to fight there. And these guys kept going and going and going and never once did they give up. We, you have a nice senior class that really welcomed you in this year. But I think that class is really highlighted. You've got to talk about your goalie, uh, Mr. Aragon. Just, he's going to be up there in the all-conference voting this year. But how important he was in, to help groom your younger goaltenders and he, this year to keep you guys in those matches. Sure. So I think you have a younger team. What ends up happening if you give a bad goal early in a match, you can really destroy a team and their confidence going through the rest of it. But he kept us in matches. There's, there's days that he made saves that no one should make. And he really helped us go, okay, cool, we dodged that bullet, let's keep going and keep grinding. And ended up paying off for us in some of the matches. Talk about the rest of the senior class and what they mean to you coming in in your first full year as a head coach here. Uh, every single one of them provided its a spark, whether it be on the field and or off the field. They were kind, they were welcoming, they were listening, they did everything that you would ask a senior and a player to do. And I think if our underclassmen follow some of the examples of these guys and, and take that forward for the next couple of years, we have some really uh, dynamic things that are going to happen. Now you guys transition to the offseason. What are kind of some of your goals and expectations as this team heads into the offseason to grow on successes of this year and really the learning experiences of 2017? I think we'll continue to work in the offseason about what it means to be a leader and how do we treat each other. You know, getting together and having informal meetings about just what, what it means to truly be the guy in the locker room that helps lead the group going forward. And what are their goals? You know, what are their goals in the classroom? What are their goals out of the classroom? And how can we help them achieve those things? And, you know, especially for our seniors, how can we make sure we help them get ready for the real world, which can be fairly scary out there, and make sure that they're good to go? Well, we look forward to it. Pleasure getting to talk with you. Thank you for taking the time all season long. Thank you, CJ. Cougar fans, you can always find all the information about Cougar men's soccer at cucougars.com.